Hi, I'm Bruce Kaiser from Grace United Methodist Church here in South Bend. Linda Clausen is with me today as we speak about another mission moment here at Grace United Methodist. And this one, uh, very important, uh, most of our missions are. Let's say Absolutely. they all are. This one fits right in. We're talking about the soup kitchen. Tell Absolutely. me a little bit about its inception uh, on through where we are right now. Okay. Um, it was started at First Methodist about 30 years ago. It was run by a First Methodist church. And then they've got, as it's progressed, more people have become involved in other churches. So I was... Uh, put on the board about mm, four or five years ago, decided that I wanted to get involved in it. And um, so I've been there ever since. I love it. It's just anybody that comes to work loves mm -hmm. it. It's a great, we, we serve soup Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We serve from 1130 to 1215. And it's pickup now. It's bagged. We, right. we get there at 9 o'clock, make the soup, uh, get everything ready. We ha it has their soup. There's salad, there's a dessert, there's bread, there's a fruit, and a big container of soup, salt, pepper, butter, utensils. And it's all wow. in a, yeah, it's, it's wow. big, it's big. And so we have a lot of people that come. Uh, when I first started, we were inside. We were down in the, in the, the their uh, big hall downstairs, and we would get, oh my goodness. Any place from 80 to 100 people. That's a lot. Come, that's, all, that's a lot, lot of folks people. to feed. It is all coming through, at 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 this time, and it was uh, you would get homeless people. We'd get couples coming, older people coming mm -hmm. for lunch. That you know it was a little outing for them that day. We'd get people that are live Marmaine uh, uh, apartments are right there. We get people from Marmaine. Uh, it was just a real different group of people but everybody got along and it was it was really fun unfortunately with covid we've mm -hmm. had to go outside they have to be outside so we have to do the sack lunches and it's it's gone okay i think our probably our highest number of people has been 102 and like those people now we were giving as like a, a person would come and say uh how many people are you serving and they'd say six we, the soup things were really big, so one will uh, serve two people, uh -huh. so we give them three bags. We had to cut back, we were going through way too much soup. So now they get two bags, no matter, and most of them are very, very appreciative. I'm sure they are. They Co COVID has made things much more difficult this way. Absolutely. The, the time to do this has to have increased quite a lot because right. you're packing things up right. to go. Right. I can't it, imagine how much time this is going to take. It's, it's, it, it, yeah, but you know what? Everybody works together, and we've we've done this for, well, when I don't know when we closed Are you like a production March. line almost? We are. It's just down the road, <laughs> and it's and every, we have people that, Margaret's 85, and are probably our youngest is in her early 40s. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're all different ages. Most of us are um, 65 to 75. So anyway, so we do that, and uh, it's it's wonderful, and it's a lot of the people that came to the inside, come to the come get soup now. Come get soup, now. which is fun nice? because yeah. we we get to see those people, mm -hmm. um, and you know, hi, how you doing? Blah blah blah. I had surgery a year ago, and right before I had surgery, uh, some of the guys that come in knew I was going to have it. And I've seen them, they go, how are you doing? How you, how's your hip? You no, know, I mean, <laughs> it's just a really good group. And then there are a lot of... It's a close-knit group. It is. Yeah. But there are a lot of the homeless that come, mm -hmm. and they're always very appreciative. Uh, we just decided in our um, uh, board meeting two nights ago that we are going to do a Thanksgiving meal this year. Our Thanksgiving, Christmas, Easter meals before were huge. Actually, uh, Cafe Navarre came to help us last year. Is that year. right? Yeah. They brought, That's we great. had, and we had turkey, we had dressing, we had mashed potatoes, we had cranberry sauce, we had sweet potatoes, we had uh, the whole. It's going to be hard to cram that all in a to go bag. I know. <laughs> so we had to pare that down, but this year they get a carry out mm -hmm. in the clamshell and they get turkey, dressing, mashed potatoes, gravy, green beans, a dessert. A roll and a bottle of water. Oh my gosh, you're doing it! I think you're doing so. A we're great doing job it again. It. Now you're talking about all all this food and all these people you serve. Yeah, that's going to take a lot of support, not just with personnel, but right. uh, money-wise too. You know what? We let's, have, yeah. Let's speak. Let's okay. speak about that for a moment. 
We, 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 always can, we always can use donations. And the donations, if you donate to the, the soup kitchen, it should go to the church. You mm -hmm. send to First Methodist and you put a little uh, note on it for the soup kitchen. Okay. Um, it's, uh, so if you're a member here, that's a if way to If you're do a it. member here, if you're out in the community, just send the money. That, that would be wonderful. We have the gal that's manager for the soup kitchen now is wonderful at going to the food bank and getting commodities. And she'll, she finds, um, we, right now we have a lot of turkey breasts. I don't know where she got them. She, well, she probably got them at the food bank. They get stuff in like that, and Deb's always there, and she makes, takes advantage of it. Yeah, we, have another, we have another gal that volunteers that has connections at Gordon's, so we get a lot of uh, produce and that sort of thing from Gordon's, which has helped. That's been going on for about two months now, and that's how we can do salads and mm -hmm. things like that. We didn't have that produce before. So it's, uh, it's a great calling. I, I really love it. And everybody, we actually have a fellow now, his name is Randall, and he had to do community service. So they were, I don't know how you get assigned, but he was assigned to us. He, he only had to do 60 hours. He told us today he had 70 hours, but he comes four to, three days a week. He loves it. He loves the people. He loves doing it. I mean, and I don't know, Randall's probably in his early 60s, but it's, it's, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a feeling they it's get. A a, feel, a feeling it's, of community and friends. And my best days are when I go there because you feel like you're yeah. giving back. Isn't that nice? Well, and you are. Yeah, well. Yeah. But so it's, it's a great feeling. We always need help. Okay. They have, they have um, we do the packing and the, the giveaways on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. If you want to come, you come any place between 9 and 10, and then we start bagging it at 10.30, start giving out at 11.30. They have a vegetable buddies on one night, and you'd have to call the church. But they go and they cut up everything. Mm -hmm. They brown all the meat. They do all that prep work. So then when the person comes in that makes the soup, they just kind of can dump it in and cook just, it. Right. Just right. some assembly. Right. So there's a, point. you know, so you don't have to come during the day. Right. If you're working and you want to work at night, you can, you can do that. You can do vegetable buddies and that sort of thing. You got, all of you, very busy people. Yeah. yeah, but it, I love it, it. It speaks well of you. It speaks well of a Grace United yeah. Methodist Church. It does, and uh, I know God is pleased. Oh, I hope so. Yeah. I oh, think so. Pleased, I think sure. so. Anything you want to mention? Not uh, really. Um, yeah, just uh, if we can always use help. If you only have a day, you can just come and volunteer a day, and it doesn't doesn't have to be a commitment every week for an okay. limited amount. Try of time. it out. See if you like yeah. it. See, see if, if it's like for it. you. You know, Absolutely. There's something for everybody. Absolutely. All right. That's a great mission moment. I'm glad we got to talk to you about yep. that today. Linda Clausen here at Grace United Methodist Church. You've been a member for? Oh, I joined here in 76. Mm. So you tell me how many years a lot. Uh, I'll get back to you on that. Yeah. <laughs> a lot. lot. Of years. It's yeah, a lot it's of a years. lot of years. Yeah. Uh, you look great and so does your husband. <laughs> so, you know, we make little jokes about this go. sort of thing. We don't mean it. Anyway, that's it. Another uh, mission moment at Grace United Methodist Church. It's been a pleasure. We appreciate you watching. Thank you.